Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I'm going to pick up where we left off with the last video, trying to get the event to fire on the JTEX field. And I did some research uh, between recording videos, and I honestly couldn't find a way to do it. Um, let me make sure all the tests are still passing. Yeah, they are. What I did find, though, um, was a way of getting access to the listener. So what we're going to do is we're going to write, you know, write a, an event handler on the action listener. And uh, as far as I can tell, what we could do is we could say, you know, given that field, get the action listeners. Um, and then the first one of those will be the right one. So that's a bit wacky, um, but it should work. I'm not loving it, but uh, I'm not loving any of the code in here. And I think it will get better over time, as I talked about last time. Uh, if any of you out there have a better idea about how to do this, please let me know. Um, did have one person, the same person who wanted to sell his liver, <laughs> talk to me, uh, tell me a bit about uh, his opinions. But they were so dramatically phrased and so low on detail that I didn't really understand what he was saying, or if it was just somebody ranting. So, kidney guy, if uh, if you'd like to try again with maybe a little code or some more specific examples, I'd love to see that. So uh, frame um, I, I want to I'm going to say I mean this is terribly ugly, but um, I'm just going to ask for the starting balance field. That will be our JTEXT field. Um, Go ahead and toss that in. I guess I could just make this public. Again, some people are really disliking the turning things from private to public. Pub, public I'm sure. I don't really like it either. Um, but I don't see a better way right now. And I don't feel like I'm being lazy about this. I think, as I mentioned last time, I think it will just sort of, I'll figure it out over time. So the action listener is an array. There should only be one, um, one of those. Uh, I think I can do assume. Yeah, assume that... Um, listeners dot length dot how does assume work? It's I've actually I've never used assume. Oh, assume. I'll have to come back to that later. Um, what I was trying to do is say that this is an assumption rather than an actual assertion. Um, this is just having the test uh, check itself. Because it is, we are poking around into the internals. That's really bad form. And um, yeah, actually, no. We can, this doesn't need to be assumption. Then we can say uh, text field should have action listener, and there should really only be one. So yeah, we'll do that. It's going to fail because we haven't written that code yet. Um, and so now we can go ahead and code all this up, but we'll leave this part out. And so that will pass, but we still haven't tested everything that we need to do. Now we need to assert that the application model should be updated. Um, okay, I feel like we're getting closer. And yeah, this code's ugly. 
<laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. It is ugly. But, um, yeah. And let's see, what are we going to do here? We'll just say dollars and for five. Let's make it 668, the neighbor of the beast. Okay. Ah, uh, it doesn't like the null. Yeah. So. Uh, now. So we really need the frame. We've already got a frame. We're going to redefine the frame to be a new application frame that uses the mock model. Still failing because we're not uh, we're not actually triggering the event. By the way, I think we need to make uh, dollars compare to null without uh, without throwing an exception. Uh, the tests are too hard to read. Every time I get that null pointer exception, I I don't know what's going wrong. Um, So now we should just be able to say listener zero dot action performed new action event source is going to be the field. Now we don't really care about this other stuff. ID. zero and an empty string. Okay, that did not work. I'm not sure why not. It, it could be that action performed isn't doing what we're thinking it's doing. Or it could just be that I haven't implemented the code yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, perfect. Expected 668, but was 12345. Now um, we need to just Um, yeah, now we need to set the text on the field. And this is going to make a do new dollars field dot get text. And we're going to need to turn that into uh, an integer. Okay. I'm a little surprised that didn't tell me I needed to catch an exception. Doesn't parse int throw an exception? Yeah, it throws a null number format exception. Uh, maybe number format exception is as a runtime exception. I thought it was not a runtime exception, but oh, it's a runtime exception. Okay, so we need to handle handle text parsing. And application frames uh, get text for starting balance text field or whatever it's called. Um, but I don't want to handle that now. So is this working? It is working. Why did it take so long?
All right, we're getting really close here. This is taking too long, though. Way too long. Yeah, and it is all that. I'm expecting a little bit of a delay on the first one, but um, not like that. When I was doing my research, there was a note in there about uh, this, about possibly creating a delay. I'm not sure. Maybe this is normal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run the same test twice. I'm not sure if there's a delay somewhere in the code, which is something that I saw in my research, or if it's just linking in uh, stuff that takes a long time to spin up the first time you run it. I haven't talked about this much, but I think it's really important that your tests run fast. We haven't seen it here. We've only got 51 tests, but when you've got thousands of tests, which you will have if you're doing this uh, for months on end, you have thousands of tests and you need them to run fast because if your build takes too long then people don't wait for the build to finish before they check in and if they don't wait for the build to finish before they check in and they don't run all the tests then they will make mistakes and not know it and then your build will break and then uh, when you're built uh, then uh, anyway I don't know I'm, I'm a little tired I think Basically, long builds lead to broken builds, and broken builds lead to suffering, despair, fear, the dark side, and everything else. So fast builds, super important. If you need to know more about this, uh, look, do some searches, Google searches on synchronous continuous integration. I've got some material on my site about it. Anyway, um, yeah, the problem is just that it's linking some stuff in, so that's not a real hit. It's just some Java stuff going on. So we're good here. We've got this working. Oh man, that is so slow. Four seconds. Ten seconds is sort of the maximum for a local build like this, but I'd really rather it be done in less than a second. You can feel it when it takes more than a second. Oh, it's so slow. I wish I knew a better way. Well, um, this should work now though. Let's go ahead and run this. See what we can see. I should be able to change this to 668 and have it change. Oh, beautiful. Should be able to change it 1, 2, 3 and have it change. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, beautiful. Let's, 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 let's make a million dollars. There. So if we had a million dollars, it would grow by quite a bit. Um, and if we didn't have any money at all, well, we'd be in trouble. Oh, look at that. If the starting balance is lower than the cost basis, funny things happen. Um, uh, that should be illegal. That should be an exception right there. All right, so there's that. We don't have it working yet where the, we're losing focus. So let's see if we can get that in real quick before the end of the video. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the same code again. I'm sure this is going to be bothering people out there, but um, that's okay. we get a focus listener? I don't think we have time to do this. Oh, maybe, maybe. Nope, we don't have time. All right, well, thanks, everybody. We'll pick this up next time.